Hello everyone. In this video, let's learn about different types of objects. Okay. So before going to uh, learn about the remaining data types, let us learn about these uh, different types of objects first. Okay. So objects are classified into two types. Okay. Those are mutable objects and immutable objects. Mutable and immutable objects. So, mutable means which can be changeable, which can be changeable, those are called as mutable. And immutable means we cannot change, non changeable objects. Non changeable objects comes under immutable. Okay. So, whatever may be the fundamental data types which we have learnt, that is int float complex string and bool all these comes under immutable data type okay and previously we have covered in the previous video we have covered list right so that comes under mutable data type okay so what is meant by immutable let's learn in detail what is meant by immutable and why what is the need of this immutable uh, object in python okay so first coming to immutable let me take a variable x okay and it is assigned with a value of 10 for example that means in the memory this 10 object is stored and x is a reference variable referencing to this memory right so for this object an address will be there okay so what is immutable means once an object is created here i have created an object right we cannot perform any change on that object once an object is created we cannot perform any change on that object suppose Suppose, if I am going to perform any change on that object, okay, that means here x equal to x plus 1, that means here what I am doing, I am performing some change on this object, right, as x is a reference variable referencing to this object 10, 10 plus 1, now that is x is 11. So, because of this change, because of this change, a new object is created because of this change a new object is created okay so now x is now assigned with a value of 11 right so x is now referencing to 11 not to 10 because before change x is assigned with the 10 but now what happens i have performed some modification on this x variable okay that means uh, 10 plus 1 on this object i have performed some new change now x is a reference variable which is referencing to this new object okay so internally who is responsible to create an object is internally pvm python virtual machine a python interpreter is res responsible to create an object so according to immutable what is the rule of immutable means uh, any object once it is created we cannot perform any changes on that object okay suppose if you are trying to perform any any change on that object then a new object will be created okay a new object will be created with that change okay that is called as a immutable immutable okay so now x is assigned with a value of 11 not with a 10 so what happens to this 10 value okay that means initially i have taken x variable and uh, this 10 object uh, which is a uh, reference to the x variable right but after that what happened uh, some modification i have performed some changes i have done because of the changes a new object is created right so what happens to this old object means uh, if there is a uh, no reference variable to any object if uh, if an object is not referencing to any variable then what happens uh, the python virtual machine uh, will take that object to garbage collection 
garbage collection okay so what happens if an object is not referencing to any variable okay then that object is eligible for garbage collection who will take care of that python virtual machine internally the python virtual machine will do that do that operation okay so now x is now assigned to a value of 11 so if you want to see practically whether a new object is really created or not it is possible it is possible how means here x is assigned with a value of 10 right that means here x is a reference variable which is referencing to the object 10 okay that means internally what happens to this 10 object internally in the memory an address will be there right and x is pointing to that 10 object suppose if you want to print the address of the variable we have a function called id function so print of id of x some address will be printed suppose 1001 right so that means my uh, my object x is storing in 1001 address location in the memory right and x is a reference to that object right now i have performed some modification on that object now what happens x is assigned with a new object value right again for this some other memory or some other address will be allocated for that new object suppose if you print the type if you print the address of x now then you can see a new address not the old address okay suppose if the change is performed there itself what happens if the change is performed there itself that means suppose if 10 is uh, overwritten with 11 then what happens there itself the, both 10 and 11 should have the same address but now because of the creation of the new object this 10 uh, will, will go to garbage collection and this 11 will have a new address right okay so that is about the immutable nature so here now consider two variables a and b okay so who will take care of creating the objects internally python virtual machine python virtual machine it won't create a new objects blindly if before creation of an object it will check whether that object is already existing or not if it is already existing then it will make a reuse of that object so here uh, the python virtual machine first initially it will check for the object is already existed or not if it is not existed then only it will create an object so here a is 10 okay that means a is a reference variable which is referencing to this object so for example this is stored in memory location 1001 now again it will come to b b is also assigned with 10 so here it will check for this object a python virtual machine will check for this object whether the job that object is already available or not so it is already available right 10 object is already available so will it go to create a new object or will it will it make use of this object only it will make use of this object okay that means object reusability nature is now executed that means object uh, reusability will be taken place by this a uh, python virtual machine right so what happens means uh, this b is also assigned with the b reference variable is also pointing to that object itself suppose if you print the address of a and b address of a and b then both are pointing to the same address right because both are pointing to the same address itself a and b okay because of object reusability both are pointing to the same address okay so because of this what is the main advantage of uh, what is the main need of this immutability is uh, uh, memory utilization is uh, developed right because of this uh, instead of creating a uh, new objects for each and every variable if uh, if there is already existing object is there if you make use of that object uh, then memory utilization will be performed so because of this uh, memory utilization as i already told object creation operation is a costly process so because of that uh, the python virtual machine will check off that uh, reusability nature
okay reusability nature means whether that object is already existing in the memory or not if not only it will create a new object it won't create blindly okay so because of that the advantage is memory utilization and also the performance memory utilization the advantages of this immutab immutability nature is memory utilization and also performance so performance is improved okay if the memory is utilizing means or automatically performance will be improved okay so that is the main advantage of this immutability nature next coming to mutable okay so here list is a mutable data type that means if you take a list of elements like 10 20 30 and 40 so in the memory 10 20 30 40 is being stored right and l is a reference variable to these objects list objects suppose if i want to perform some uh, change if i want to perform some change on the list list variables that means by using index i can perform right so l of 0 if i want to replace with uh, some other um, other value l of 0 is equal to now some 50 then as list is a mutable data type i can directly perform the change there itself got it so suppose if you after before performing if you print the id of a list and after performing this operation if you print the id of list both will point to the same address but just the variables are changed here what happens if you print the value of l address in both in both conditions the address is same okay but here if you print the value of l what happens uh, instead of 10 50 20 30 40 will be printed because list is a mutable object list is a mutable object mutable means you can perform changes but uh, immutable means uh, once uh, if an object is created uh, you cannot we cannot perform the changes uh, suppose if you are trying to perform the changes what happens new objects will be created so that property is called as immutability so here uh, what happens uh, if uh, if a python virtual machine if it if it uh, wants to create a new object uh, it will check whether that object is existing or not then only it will create a new object because of that the advantage is memory utilization and performance